Hello, everybody. So today I'm going to be talking about something called state variable form. State variable form is basically just um, a way to get like um, your vectors into sort of matrices. I don't really know what it's used for in all honesty. Um, models that consist of coupled first order differential equations are said to be in, are said to be in state variable form. And really what I can sort of think of is, okay, so first of all, state variable form consists of this. So we have x dot is equal to ax plus, I've seen this written as bu, or you can say b times f of t, okay? This is a vector, this is a vector, 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 and in a lot of cases, this is a vector too. In this example that we're gonna do, it's, it's not really gonna be a vector. Um, so the example that we've been given says that, um, 5y double dot plus 7y dot plus 4y equals f of t. And um, what we're trying to do is get this into this form. So what I want you to first do when you're dealing with, like when it says put it in state variable form, I want you to, we want to get, so, um, Loki, what I think we're trying to do with state variable form, I'm not 100% sure, because like, like I'm not sure that my teacher ever really explained this, but what I think, after reading this definition, it says a first order differential equation. So we want everything to be worst, worst, a first order differential equation. So like what I mean by that is I'm trying to get, I'm trying to find something to define all of these with, um, so I'm gonna say x1 is my y. Okay, and that being said, x1 dot would be y dot, right? So I'm gonna say that x2 is y dot, okay? And I'll show you why I'm doing this. Now, the reason I'm stopping here and not saying that x3 is y double dot is because I can simply take the time derivative of x2 and get y double dot. So I have everything that I need to be able to write this equation in terms of these with by using worst worst x1 dot and x2 dot, right? What I mean by that is, let me rewrite this whole thing. So that would give me 5x2 dot plus 7x1 dot plus 4x1 equals f of t, right? Let me just double check myself. Yes. Okay, um, hmm, no, let me say this, actually, let me say this, x2, and there's a reason I'm doing that, because, um, basically, we want this, right, so I need, I want, this is going to be a column vector, so that's going to consist of, like, x1 dot and x2 dot, okay, that's what the first part of my matrix, or the equation is going to look like, right? So I need something to define my x1 dot and my x2 dot. Now I've already said that x1 dot, right, looking at this, is simply equal to x2. Basically, I'm trying to sum this up in terms of x's now. And x1 dot is equal to, I'm just going to write 0x1 plus x2, okay? Just so we can see that there's no x1 there. And I'll show you why I'm doing that in a second. x2 dot, I can go ahead and use this equation to solve for x2 dot. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to subtract everything here and then divide by 5 to get this x2 alone. It's just algebra from this point. I'm going to leave this ft at the very end, so I know that I'm going to end up with a 1 over 5 ft. And you should be doing the algebra along with me just in case I make a mistake. But um, x2 dot is now equal to, I'm going to put the x1 first, so negative 4 over 5 x1 minus 7 over 5x2. Then this would be plus, right? And the reason I'm doing it like this is because now I'm trying to, I can sort of look at this as like an imaginary matrix. Like this equation sort of gives me an imaginary matrix, right? Uh, two by two matrix, right? So those are my brackets, right? So now I know that it has to be, this is equal to something times an x column vector, right? Plus 
something. Let me let me wait. So now, right? Looking at this, I can just put this in there, sort of. So it's gonna be zero and then one, because I have zero x one, one x two, right? X one x two. So this second line is gonna be this second line right here. Negative four over five. Negative seven over five. Okay, then that's that. Now, this f of t, right? I have to look at this whole thing and I can sort of make another imaginary matrix, okay? So my f of t is this. That's my matrix for f of t. Sort of. Yes, that is my matrix for f of t. Um, that's now, I can see a, a zero right here. I can say plus zero f of t, right? So that gives me zero here, and then this is gonna be a column. So if I'm correct, a lot of the time this isn't a column, but this in this case it happened to be a column, then this is gonna be one over five. And then this is just gonna be times f of t. And I guess hypothetically, you could put that as a column, but it would just be a, a column vector rather. But I guess a column vector with just one value is simply like a scalar basically, right? So this is what we have for our state variable um, form. So if I had to like list a set of steps to give you, I would say like one, put current variables in terms of new variables. Okay. That's what we did here. My max, I wanted something, I wanted to be able to sum up my x1 dot and my x2 dot. That's why I stopped here. x2 took care, like if I took a time derivative of this, it would take care of the highest order of my y uh, variables that I had here, right? So that's why I stopped here and I didn't go and say like x3 equals y double dot, okay? So two, solve, for, I'll say first time derivatives of new variables. And I'll say like, e.g. X1 dot, X2 dot, X3 dot, blah, 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 blah. Three, put in state variable form. I'll say put in form, then I'll write this again. And I'll just write it a different way here. AX plus BU. This being my U. So this would be U. Okay? Um... Those are really all you need, and I know I'm making like I'm over vast. I'm vastly like this was a pretty simple um, case. Probably I'll do a more example, a more complicated example. But this is really all it takes to put something in state variable form. It's it's not really anything ridiculous. Um, how this relates to the real world, I'm still trying to grasp that. It's still sort of abstract to me. But I mean, we were just trying to get through the class, right? So this is really all we need to do. If anything wasn't clear, please don't hesitate to ask questions in the comments section. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends and let's keep learning, okay? Thank you.